Hi, I'm Mark Clagorn for the Photographer Academy, and we're going to be quickly looking at how to fix a moray pattern problem in your photographs using the likes of either Lightroom or Adobe Camera Raw. Obviously, you can go through Photoshop to Adobe Camera Raw as well. Basically, as you can see on screen here, the left-hand uh, image, we've kind of blurred out the client's faces. Uh, this is actually an image from one of our members. Um, they've got the problem, so I thought we'd kind of make a quick film on it. Uh, it kind of goes without saying that's what we're here for. So the moray is this kind of um, colored, weird pattern that kind of goes on. It basically occurs when two similar patterns are kind of uh, imp superimposed on each other. Uh, and it's definitely an unwanted uh, kind of guest at any part of the party that we're doing. You can kind of avoid it in some way photographically by kind of uh, changing lens, aperture, slightly moving kind of different positions and so on. But basically with the likes of a Prince of Wales check like you're seeing here, um, you're all, always going to pretty much have a problem with it. And on a wedding, you're going to have to fix quite a lot of photographs, but uh, at least uh, Adobe Camera Raw and uh, Lightroom do have a quick fix for us, okay? So whether you're working on a, um, a JPEG image or you're working on a raw image, I'd obviously encourage you to work on the raw. That's where all the real information is. But if you've got to work on a JPEG, you can fix it. So the images that we're seeing in front of us, in fact, are JPEG images and I've already fixed the one on the right hand side. So let's go into Adobe Camera Raw and fix it. So I've opened up this JPEG file. Uh, let's zoom in to 100% and uh, you can see basically we've got the moray pattern. I will do this with a, a DNG file in a minute, okay? Um, but you can see this kind of moray. The first thing to kind of accept is that we really want to be looking at 100%. I know you'll want to go in and basically kind of look at 200%, 300%, but at 100%, you're gonna see what is gonna print and what isn't gonna print and things. So all you need to do is basically, in Adobe Camera Raw or in Lightroom, kind of go across onto the mask. And if you click on the mask, you then want brush. Use uh, as big a brush as you want to begin with, um, but obviously what you're trying to do is affect a pattern. So where possible, uh, kind of take a little bit of time, but the one thing you're going to want to do is work with a big brush to begin with and then work on with a small brush in more detailed, closer in areas. Now, I mentioned about kind of working at 100%. You can obviously go in and work at a much uh, kind of closer in way. But really what you want to do is basically make sure that the end result you're viewing at 100%. So I've masked, I've just painted just a little bit in there, okay, you get an idea. And you can still see I've left the trouser here fully. We'll get to that now in a minute. Once you've kind of entered into the mask option, if you scroll to the bottom of the page here, you'll see moray reduction. And if you move this up to the right-hand side, you can see straight, straight away, as soon as we start the slider, it basically starts to, uh, it gets rid of the mask, but the mask is still there, it just hides it. And then you start to actually get rid of the effect itself. So now if I start to paint on the trouser, because we're already into the adjustment mode, we're not seeing that mask and I can go ahead and actually paint and so on. So as you can see, this Prince of Wales check that you got here is one of the worst scenarios. And in the bad old days of the beginning of digital, um, we, we still had this problem then. It was even worse, in fact. Um, but we used to have to actually blur out the lines. Today, of course, what we've got here is a really, really good fix to it. You can even go in and increase the sharpness to the pattern, and you can even go in and increase the texture as well. Um, but you'll just need to actually play each image by ear, but that's a kind of a quick fix. And um, if you kind of want to see how bad it was before, if we just do the before, so let's come back down to the um, trouser, and then we click it on again, you can see what we fixed there fully and things. So that's it in a JPEG mode. Let's open up a DNG. I'm just going to press cancel to that. So if we're looking at the DNG file now, you can see the before and after that I've kind of done the majority of the fix here. And remember, all you need to do is basically just move to the area that you want to fix, click onto the mask, click onto um, the area that you want to actually paint. So in, in here, we've got in the brush. Now all I need to go in is continue to actually paint through. 
Okay, and that's how you fix the Moray problem, and it is a problem.